Well hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this next video in using Git in NetBeans series. In this one we're going to look at cloning a repository and what is involved in cloning a repository and why you might want to clone a repository. Now first of all cloning a repository is actually very easy. So let's have a look at why you might want to clone a repository or a repo. Now the first reason is you might have more than one computer that you use for development or writing or whatever it is that you, you require a, a, a repo for. It, 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 it doesn't have to be for programming, it can be for, for virtually anything that you want. Um, if you're like me, I have a computer at home which has multiple monitors and which I'm actually recording this on at the moment. And then I have a separate computer which I take out with me, um, which is a lot smaller. And again, I want to actually be able to work on that. So I can just quite literally, I can download and upload and push and pull as required but of course when you create something on one computer and it's not on the other computer you need to first of all clone it onto the second computer. You might want to create your own distribution of an open source project that somebody else is working on or has created. A good example of this is Open Beans, which is a fork of the Apache NetBean open source software and it's available and is a, basically the same as NetBeans. It's very similar but has a, a slicker, slightly slicker front end to it and that type of thing and one or two more other things which are, Apache are constrained to do. You're part of a team. You've got multiple people working on the same thing, not necessarily in the same company or even in the same country or town. And this will allow you work on different parts of a project. Now usually you will use branches for this and we will discuss branches in a later video. But if you're part of a team you need to be able to share it between or the whole project between the various different team members wherever they are in the world. So a very good idea if you're part of a team to be able to clone the original project down and then create branches for yourself and finally you might want to make a backup now I know this might sound strange because you're saying well if it's on github it's secure well yes and no remember that github is somebody else's computer so therefore there it's subject to what they want to do with their computer system and at some point in time they might decide okay we're not going to allow this type of project this type of media on our computer and therefore it's going to be deleted so you might want to clone it uh, somewhere else say for example onto um, Dropbox or something like this a cloud storage system so these are the, the reasons why you might want to clone a repository. So let's look at what is involved. Now if you remember last time we had a, a project which was a calculator project. Now I've deleted it from NetBeans. You just right click and you click on remove and I've asked it to remove all the project files and I've actually deleted the directory from the list of directories. You can see it's not actually in my list of directories here. The first thing you need to do is of course you need to log into GitHub and we'll use the calculator sample because I've left it on GitHub. I've, I've deliberately done that so that I can clone it down and we'll open the calculator sample. Now you'll see it says here clone or download. Now if you click on this, or you can clone it to your computer. Now I'm going to clone with SSH. You can use HTTPS if you wish by clicking on this then copying the link. But I shall just copy this link and that's all there is that we need to do on 
GitHub. Now it may or may not have an NB project. A lot of them won't have an NB project. So don't worry if there's one here or not. It's not important. Come to NetBeans. Click on Team. Click on Git. Click on Clone. And I need to enter my master password. Okay, so it you can see it's actually done this for me already because we were actually uh, using it last time. But what you would do is you would put the repository URL in here. You would put a username of Git. Now this is quite important. Okay? This is if you're using SSH. You put in the location of your private key and you use the passphrase. The next thing you need to decide which folder, which directory are you actually going to clone it into. Now notice it says var www. It doesn't say calculator sample because it's going to add that. You can see it's going to add it at the end it tells you. And this is where we want it to go because we want it in our var www folder. Okay so I'm happy with all of that. You then click next. It connects to git and it's found the remote branch. If it's not selected you'll need to select it and then click next. It's just making sure that you're in the parent directory and this is the parent di directory you want. Give the same name on the directory and we're checking out the master and again the remote name it's always a very good idea for the the master remote to be called origin. Now notice I've got a tick in scan for NetBeans projects after clone this is a good idea because then it will actually set it up onto your computer and make sure it's correct. Click on finish and you can see in the output it's done that. Okay and you can actually open sources in favorites if you want which will open it down here. I won't do that I'm just going to click on open project and you can see the project is open it's just scanning it at the moment and there we are it's into the system and if we have a look there it is you can see there is the project there are the lines I added in the previous tutorial just there so it's all down and it's all there if we have a look at the file you can see it's called calculator sample and the whole project is in there and there is an NB project in there as well. We'll just very quickly look at the project properties and you can see that it's got the correct project folders in, it's using the correct form I'm using PHP, it doesn't matter, it, it really doesn't matter which programming language you're using, it doesn't matter what you're doing, really, I mean, Git, it doesn't matter. It just so happens that I'm using PHP for this, I could be using C++, I could be using Java, Python, it could be just a text file, it doesn't matter. And you can see it's got the run configuration, it's not actually correct because it's, it's uh, this is incorrect here. I do that that will be now correct but you can always click on browse and pick up the correct one select the file click on OK and of course the browser is the default IDE browser and everything is there it's ready to run so if I just click on OK it's all ready to run there are no notifications everything is there everything is updated the next video we'll look at creating a git ignore because there isn't one in here because it's a very good idea not to put nb project up on github you can if you wish but it's um, 
not necessary and certainly the private file shouldn't be there. That's how easy it is to clone a project in NetBeans. It's very very simple. It's so easy that you can do it more or less blindfold. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have please like and subscribe and don't forget to share it because it does help in the algorithms to promote the channel. Thank you very much. My name is John and we'll see you next time.